I got that job. I was, uh, I went up to visit Willard Levitas, not to visit, to talk, be auditioned by him. He was the uh, head of auditioning writers, I guess. He did something else on the show. I think he was sets or something. Anyway, I talked to him and I didn't get the job and the show was going on now. came Friday night when the show was going on live. And that day I saw in the newspaper that the telephone workers union who had been on strike were going to sign with the Teamsters union. So I called Willard. I said, I thought of a perfect joke for your show tonight. You can have it as a gift. I have nothing else I can do with this. <laughs> he said, what's the joke? I said, why would the telephone worker sign with the Teamsters Union because half a union is better than none at all. So they told that joke on the show. Nancy Ames used to start that show with a song. That was the week. That, so we said, put that joke in the song and it stopped the show. The audience applauded and laughed because they knew it had just happened. And I got called the next day and they hired me for the show. So that's what I did for 26 weeks. Yeah, there was a big writer's room on the show, but there weren't all that many writers as they have today. On the Cosby show, which I did, the last show I did, there were like 16 writers in the world. On that show, on my shows, there were never more than two writers in a room and two sets, of, three sets of two writers. But on that show, there was Jerry Gardner, uh, Bob Emmett, Dan Me, uh, Don, Tom Meehan, who wrote The Producers with Woody Allen, and I'm probably forget Tony Webster, who was a wonderful writer. About six or six of us, but we all wrote separately. We never wrote like as a group. You say a line and I'll punch it up. He wrote his script, I sketch, I wrote mine. So how would you guys come up with ideas? It was pretty topical. Yeah, well, that was it, from the newspapers. Mm -hmm. And on the day of the show, Friday, I would stay home and listen to the radio and watch the news on TV to get the last minute stuff and bring it, call it in, and then come in and see the show. I was, well, I didn't have a partner yet. I was doing all this alone. But it was, it was fun, it was going through terrible times. It was during the McCarthy years, in the beginning of the Vietnam War. I mean, there were things to write good satire about. To me, good satire is funny, but it makes a point. And we were proud to do that. So that, that show lasted only one season for me. It lasted two seasons on the air.